What's up guys, Nick Pell coming to you once again with another book review, um, once again from my white room. Uh, this week is a book called Lewis Menden's The Metaphysical Club. This is something of a historical novel. Um, it depicts um, basically how pragmatism came into being. Uh, if you're interested in that, um, check this out. Uh, the story itself. Um, is 442 pages, and it won the Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> it's somewhat good, I guess. Uh, all right, let's let's start out. Um, we got the characters. Uh, first off, and the first character that you are introduced to, Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. Um, his main thing uh, is that, and the main thing that the novel focuses around with him is that he fought in the Civil War. Um, talks about his father a little bit. Um, but Holmes, the main thing that Holmes did is fought in the Civil War, and his views were kind of derived off of that. Next up, William James. Um, this is kind of the main guy. He founded Pragmatism, or at least came up with the name. Um, but with him and other people who I will get to, Pragmatism kind of came into being with a mixture of all these ideas. Uh, next up, Charles Sanders Peirce. Uh, his main philosophy was that ideas change over time they evolve and whatnot. Yeah, that was kind of his main contribution. And then John Dewey, who um, is known for revising the modern day education system. Uh, that's the characters, or the main ones anyway, that I found important. And then the plot is basically, like I said, a telling of the events that led up to modern day pragmatism, and in that sense, liberal democracy. Like I said, it starts out with Holmes. It's the book itself is split into five parts plus an epilogue, um, and it basically shows the events that led up to pragmatism. Um, first four parts are dealing with the four different people, plus a couple others all mixed in there. And the final part is basically the result, the end result of pluralism, pragmatism, and whatnot. That's the plot, honestly. The book spans from about... Oh, well, the Civil War era up until about, I don't know, just before World War One, I, I think. So, yeah, because after that, um, and during the two wars, uh, the two world wars, um, pragmatism kind of died out. And uh, it got kind of rekindled again during the Cold War. So, uh, yeah, that's the plot. And now uh, themes. For this, and then also the Tsar novel, I'm not going to say themes, just because they're historical novels, and so, um, I didn't really find any, honestly, and they weren't really talked about when I dealt with my professors in them. Uh, so, yeah, no themes, you can read them, find themes for yourself, because I'm sure you can find themes in anything. Uh, but yeah, um, no themes for this, uh, and so we'll just go on to enjoyment. My enjoyment of this book kind of varies, honestly. Some parts of it were interested, or were interesting for me, because I'm a history major. So it dealt with some interesting history stuff that showed how stuff came to be, um, was brought about. Uh, while others almost made me fall asleep because it was so boring. <laughs> Most of the characters are interesting to read about, uh, since they all contributed it contributed in their own unique ways to the development of um, American pragmatism. Uh, the plot can be somewhat complicated at times because it kind of jumps around a lot um, in terms of time periods. Overall, I got something out of it. I had to write an essay on it eventually. Um, two essays, actually. Uh, and learned a decent amount about pragmatism and its development, I guess. Uh, in the process. So, yeah, I recommend it if you are interested in American history, which isn't usually put into the textbooks um, in this detailed format, or um, learning, uh, or if you're a big pragmatist and you want to learn about where it came from. So, yeah, that's my review. Kind of short, I think, but um, I need to get these reviewed. So, yeah, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you so choose. I would appreciate it. And love you for it. So, because I enjoy doing these. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Next up is the Zara book, and then uh, Inheritance, assuming I have it done. Um, so yeah, as always, my name is Nick Pell, and until next time, just keep on reading.
Our mothers and fathers throughout the land And don't criticize what you can't understand Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command Your old road is rapidly aging Please get out of the new one if you can't lend your hand For the times they are a-changing